What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'll be taking a look at the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series driver lineup. I'm going to go through all the full-time entries and the part-time entries that have been confirmed for 2024. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. We're going to start talking about the double zero car for Stuart Haas Racing. This is once again be driven by Cole Custer. Cole Custer, of course, coming off of having three wins in 2023 and also winning the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series title. He looks to go back-to-back -back this year, which will be the first driver to do that since Tyler Reddick when he did it back in 2018 to 2019. I think Cole Custer's got a really good chance and possibility to do that in the 2024 season. I expect him to be a championship threat and contender. Up next, how about the one car for Junior Motorsports? This is once again be driven by Sam Mayer. Sam Mayer had a breakout season in 2023 as he scored four wins in the second half of the season and made it to the championship four. He looks to build upon that in 2024 by winning more races and potentially getting his first NASCAR Xfinity Series title. I think he's got a really good chance to get that done this year in 2024. I expect him to be one of the front runners for the championship this season. Up next, how about the two car for Richard Childress Racing? There'll be a new driver behind the wheel, the number two car in 2024, as Sheldon Cree will move over to Joe Gibbs Racing. His replacement is going to be Jesse Love. Jesse Love, of course, who just won the most recent Arkham Menard Series Championship in 2023, is looking to start the year off strong. He will also have Danny Stockman as a crew chief in 2024. I do expect that Jesse Love will have a solid season, <coughs> not expecting him to be a championship threat and contender, but I think he's got a chance to make the playoffs in 2024. Up next, how about the four car for JD Motorsports? There'll be a new driver behind the wheel, the number four car in 2024, as Dawson Cram will get the best opportunities had in his career up to this point. I think Dawson will make a lot of races, and I think that Dawson will have some solid performances in 2024. We know JD Motorsports looks to have a much better season. Hopefully, Dawson Cram can lead JD Motorsports to a much better year this season. Up next, how about the five car for our motorsports? There'll be a new driver behind the wheel, the number five car in 2024, as Anthony Fredo will drive the number five car this year after driving last year full time for BJ McLeod Motorsports. Anthony Fredo had a solid year with BJ McLeod Motorsports last season, and I expect that Anthony Fredo will be an outside contender for the playoffs this year. I don't expect him to make the playoffs, but I think I'll have an outside chance of maybe getting some top tens and maybe an occasional top five throughout the season. We'll see what Anthony Fredo can do throughout the 2024 season. Up next, how about the seven car for Junior Motorsports? This will once again be driven by Justin Allgaier. Justin Allgaier had a great year last year in 2023, where he was able to win four races and make it to the championship four. I expect Justin Allgaier once again to be a championship threat and contender. I don't know if he'll win as many races in 2024 as he did in 2023, but I expect him to be a championship contender in the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. Up next, how about the 07 car for SS Greenlight Racing? This will be driven by Patrick Emily for a majority of the season in 2024, as expected to run around 24 races this year. Basically, when he doesn't have a Will and Modified Tour committed race, he'll drive behind the wheel of the 07 car. It's unclear he'll also be behind the wheel of the 07 throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season, but Patrick Emily will do the lion's share of the races for SS Greenlight in this seat in 2024. Up next, how about the 8 car for Junior Motorsports? There'll be a new driver behind the wheel of the number 8 car 2024, as of course Josh Brill moving up to the Cup Series and driving the 4 car for Stuart Haas Racing. The driver of the 8 car this season will be Sammy Smith, who moves over from Joe Gibbs Racing. Sammy Smith was really good last year in Xfinity, scoring one win and making it to the round of 8. I expect Sammy Smith to potentially have a multi-win year in 2024, and I think he could definitely have a better season than Josh Berry had last year in 2023. He looks to have a great year in 2024. Up next, how about the nine car for Junior Motorsports? This will once again be driven by Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones last season did not have a good year. He really struggled throughout the year and had one of the worst seasons a junior motorsports drivers had in a very, very long time. But he did show a lot of improvement in the second half of the year and the season. If Brandon Jones can do that, I think he could have a very solid and good year with junior motorsports in the 2000 and 24 season. 
Up next, how about the 10 car for Colleg Racing? This will be a rotation car throughout the 2024 season. Daniel Dye is going to drive 10 races in that car, including at Daytona. And I wouldn't be shocked or surprised if we see drivers like Kyle Busch and Kyle Larson get a chance and opportunity, and also Daniel Hemmer drive behind the wheel of the seat throughout 2024. But Daniel Dye will drive 10 races with the team in 2024. Up next, how about the 11 car for Colleg Racing? To be a new driver behind the wheel of the number 11 car for Colleg Racing as Josh Williams will move from DGM Racing over to Colleg Racing in 2024. I expect Josh Williams to have the best year of his NASCAR Xfinity Series career up to this point, but I don't expect him to completely set the world on fire. I don't think he's going to be a championship threat and contender, but I think he will have a solid year with Colleg Racing, and he's bringing some good sponsorship and good funding with him as well for the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 14 car for SS Greenlight Racing? This car will have multiple drivers throughout the 2024 season, including Daniel Suarez, who will drive his seat with Wendy's backing sponsorship at Daytona National Speedway, and this will also have a partnership with Colleg Racing throughout the year. I do expect that we are going to see him be pretty solid, not absolutely spectacular by any stretch of the imagination in this race, and we'll also see who else gets an opportunity and chance to get behind the wheel. Hopefully, we see Daniel Swords perform really, really well and have a good year throughout the 2024 season and cup and do good in Xfinity as well. Up next, how about the 15 car for AM Racing? This will be driven by Haley Deegan, who moves up the Xfinity Series full-time in 2024 and replaces Brett Moffitt. Well, Haley Deegan has struggled in the NASCAR Craftsman Chuck Series over the course of the last couple of seasons. She looks to move up to NASCAR Xfinity Series and prove herself this year. She's got a good chance and opportunity. She'll be working with a good crew chief this year, and I think that she does have a good chance and opportunity to perform as she looks to have her best season in NASCAR in a very, very long time. Up next, how about the 16 car for Colleg Racing? This will be driven by A.J. Allmendinger, who's moving back down the Xfinity Series on a full-time basis in 2024. A.J. Allmendinger, after being solid in Cup, looks to be one of the champion threats and contenders throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. He's one of the big threats. I think he's going to be in contention to win the most races in 2024, and he could win his first Xfinity Series title in the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 18 car for Joe Gibbs Racing? There'll be a new driver behind the wheel of the number 18 car, as going into this year, Sammy Smith, of course, moving over to Junior Motorsports. So Sheldon Creed moves over from Rich Chills Racing and will drive the number 18 car full-time in 2024. And we'll have Sam McCauley as a crew chief. Sheldon Creed looks to have a really strong year and improve from what he did at RCR. He's looking to win his first career NASCAR Xfinity Series race in 2024 and looks to have a much better season than he did in the last couple seasons. We'll see what Sheldon Creed can do, and we'll see if he can prove a lot of people wrong and be a championship threat this year. Up next, how about the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing? This car will have multiple drivers behind the wheel as Ryan Truex, Joe Graff Jr., Taylor Gray, and William Swalch are going to split the seat throughout the 2024 season. I believe that Ryan Trucks will get the lion's share of the, of the races throughout 2024 and because he brings a little more sponsorship than everybody else. Nonetheless, this will be a rotation seat throughout the 2024 NASCAR season. Up next, how about the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing? This will be driven by two drivers for a majority of the season. That will be Eric Almroll, who's going to drive 15 to 16 races with Joe Gibbs Racing in the 20, who returns to the team. And John Hunter Nemechek will also drive the 20 car part-time as well for around 10 to 15 races. John Hunter Nemechek will drive the 20 at Daytona International Speedway. And we'll see those two look to win races as this car will be going for the Owner's Points Championship throughout the 2024 season. Up next, top of the 21 car for Richard Childress Racing. This one's going to be driven by Austin Hill. Austin Hill's coming off having a career year in the Xfinity Series, scoring four wins, but unfortunately did not make it to the championship four. He looks to have a bounce back here in some senses and looks to make his first championship four and win his first NASCAR Xfinity Series championship this season. We'll see if he can do that in the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 26 car for Sam Hunt Racing? This will be a rotation car throughout the 2024 season as Jeffrey Earnhardt, Corey Heim, and Sage Carib will be among the many drivers who will get a chance and opportunity to drive behind the wheel of this seat. Jeffrey Earnhardt will drive at Atlanta, Corey Heim will drive at Las Vegas, and Sage Carib will run at Daytona next week. All three drivers look to get Sam Hunt Racing their first career win 
as an organization in 2024. Up next, how about the 27 car for Jordan Anderson Racing? This one once again be driven by Jeb Burton. Jeb Burton had a really solid year last year in 2024, is able to win a race at Talladega and made the playoffs. He looks to have a really good year, continue a really strong run with Jordan Anderson Racing and make the playoffs once again in 2024. Up next, how about the 28 car for RSS Racing? This will be driven by Kyle Sieg. Kyle Sieg's looking to have a better year than he did in 2023. It was kind of a struggle year for Mr. Kyle Sieg throughout 2023. He looks to have a bounce back year and recover with RSS Racing throughout the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 29 car for RSS Racing? The being new driver behind the number 21 nine car in 2024 as Blank Perkins takes over the 29th seat. There were rumors that Frankie Muniz was taking the seat, but that was unconfirmed as we'll talk about him in a little bit. But Blank Perkins will drive full time as he brings a little bit of sponsorship and funding to the table. We'll see how he ends up doing throughout the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 31 car for Jordan Anderson Racing? This will once again be driven by Parker Retzlaff. Parker Retzlaff had an up and down year last year, but had a lot of good runs in qualifying especially. He's looking to have a much better year in 2024, work with Chad Kendrick for the first time, and he looks to win his first career race in the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. Up next, how about the 35 car for Joey Gase Motorsports? This was just announced earlier today that Frankie Mendez will be running a select number of races with Joey Gase Motorsports in 2024, including at Daytona this upcoming week. Frankie is expected to be locked in the field as they have acquired the Sam Hunt racing points for the number 24 car, so Frankie should be able to be good to make the field. There will be other drivers behind the wheel of the seat. I wouldn't be shocked if a driver like Matt Benedetto also gets a chance and an opportunity to get behind the wheel. But Frankie Mendoza makes select starts with the team but throughout the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 36 car for DGEM Racing? This car will be driven by Natalie Decker at Daytona. The rest of the lineup has not been announced. I do expect that Alex Abay will also get a chance and opportunity to get behind the wheel of this car in 2024. But we do know 100% for sure that Natalie Decker will be racing at Daytona and potentially a couple other races in 2024. Up next, how about the 38 car for RSS Racing? This will be driven by C.J. McLaughlin for around 10 races in 2024 and will be driven by other drivers throughout the season. C.J., of course, will drive his car at Daytona and we'll see him. his rest of the schedule will be announced in the not-so-distant future. This car will have multiple drivers and C.J. will get a lot of starts this year. Up next, how about the 39 car for RSS Racing? This will once again be driven by Ryan Sieg. Ryan C. had a solid year last year, but not a great season. He had some good performances, but unfortunately did not make the playoffs or the postseason. He's looking to have a bounce back here in 2024, and is looking to make the postseason once again, like he's done in previous seasons. We'll see if Ryan C. can step up to the plate and have a much better season with his own organization in 2024. Up next, how about the 42 car for Young's Motorsports? Young's Motorsports moving up to the NASCAR Xfinity Series for the first time, and Leland Honeyman Jr. will drive this car all season long. Adger Abbott is going to be the crew chief, and they're going to be getting some help, I think, from ECR Engines. He looks to have a really good season with Young's Motorsports, and we'll see if Leland Honeyman can make a lot of races and contend for a playoff spot, though I'm not really expecting him to do that this year. Up next, how about the 43 car for Alpha Prime Racing? This will once again be driven by Ryan Els, who will run the full season this year. Ryan Els looks to have a really, really great year with Alpha Prime Racing, a team that's been hit or miss in the past and struggled to make races. I think Ryan Els still has a good chance and opportunity to make a lot of races and contend for some top 15 and 20 spots throughout this Xfinity Series season. Up next, how about the 44 car for Alpha Prime Racing? This will be driven by Brennan Poole, who comes over from JD Motorsports last season. Brennan Poole has been very, very busy, and I expect him to be very, very good with Alpha Prime Racing. One of the more underrated drivers in the field, I should say. I expect him to run really, really solid, and I do believe that Brennan Poole could lead Alpha Prime Racing to a lot of great finishes throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. 
Up next, how about the 45 car for Alpha Prime Racing? This car will be a part-time entry throughout the 2024 season. Cesar Baccarol is going to run four of the six Super Speed races for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, including at Daytona and Talladega. And also Brad Perez will run a select number of races in the 45, including at Circuit of the Americas and other road course races throughout the year, and will be a relief driver for the team as well. I expect this team to not run the full season and just have some solid but not amazing performances in 2024. Up next, how about the 48 car for Big Machine Racing? This one's going to be driven by Parker Kligerman. Parker Kligerman was one of the more underrated drivers in 2023. Is able to make the playoffs and had a really good average finish in the second half of the year. If Parker Kligerman wants to improve, I think he can. And I think that Parker Kligerman could potentially get his first career NASCAR Xfinity Series victory in 2024. And I think he's got a really good chance and opportunity to make the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs once again, like he did in 2023. I think he's got a good chance to do that, though, with this organization once again in the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 51 car for Jeremy Clements Racing? This one's going to be driven, of course, by Jeremy Clements. Jeremy had a bad year last year. He is sold out for the year in sponsorship, but like I said, he struggled throughout 2024. Three, I should say. He did not score, I think, a single top 10, and just struggled most of the year. I think Jeremy Clements so could have a bounce back here because he is fully funded for the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 53 car for Joey Gase Motorsports? This will be driven by Joey Gase through select races this year. Remember, Emerlin Gase Motorsports is no longer a thing. They have parted ways. I expect Joey Gase to have a decent season this year in the select races he runs. They're also going to have struggles, though, of making the field. But I do believe that Joey Gase does have a little bit of sponsorship funding helping him for 2024. Up next, how about the 6-6 car for NBM Motorsports? This team is planning to run a majority of the season in 2024, and David Starr will be behind the wheel at Daytona. They will have to qualify their way into the Daytona Xfinity opener, as they do not have enough owner's points going into this year's event. David Starr, though, is a veteran of the series, and I think he does have a great chance and opportunity to make the show this year in 2024. Up next, how about the 74 car for My Carmen Racing? This will also be a rotation car throughout the 2024 season, and Stan and Bear will be attempting to qualify for the Daytona opener, which will be in a week from now. Stan and Bear is a really, really talented driver. The stunt man, of course, has made select starts with this team in the past and has been in NASCAR for many, many years. He looks to make the show this year in 2024. Up next, how about the 78 car for BJ McLeod Motorsports? This team is planning to run a select number of races in 2024, and BJ McLeod behind the wheel of the number 78 car at Daytona International Speedway. I do believe they're good on owner's points, so they don't have to worry about making the show this season. BJ McLeod, though, looks to have a good year. Obviously, Live Fast Motorsports will also be running at Daytona, but BJ looks to have a good year with this team in the 2024 season. Up next, how about the 81 car for Joe Gibbs Racing? There'll be new driver who will this car as Chandler Smith moves over from Call of Racing over to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2024. This quite essentially is the 18 car from last year as Jeff Mendering is going to be the crew chief. Chandler Smith, of course, will be the reserve driver also for Joe Gibbs Racing this year. He looks to have a really, really great year with Joe Gibbs Racing in the Xfinity Series, and I believe he will be a championship threat and contender with Joe Gibbs Racing in 2024. Up next, how about the 87 car for Peterson Racing Group? This car will be driven by Austin Green, who is the son of David Green. Austin Green will run around 10 races with this team in 2024, including at some select road course races this season as well. They look to make the race in the show, and they will also have ECR engines as well. Up next, how about the 91 car for DGM Racing? This will be driven full-time by Kyle Weatherman in 2024. Kyle Weatherman, one of the more underrated drivers in the field, always get the best out of equipment, and I think he's got an underrated chance to potentially make the postseason this year. I expect a lot of top 20s, some top 15s, and a couple occasional top 10s throughout the season as well. I think Kyle Weatherman will have a pretty solid year in 2024. 
Up next, how about the 92 car for DGM Racing? This will be driven by Josh Blicky for select number of races in 2024, including at Daytona and Talladega and other races that will be announced at a later date. Josh Blicky looks to have a really, really solid and a really strong year with the select race he has, and we'll see what the rest schedule looks like throughout 2024. Up next, how about the 97 car for Colleg Racing? This will be driven by Shane Van Gisbergen in 2024. Shane Van Gisbergen also makes some select starts in the Cup Series with Colleg Racing, but Shane Van Gisbergen will be running full-time to get experience on ovals and road courses as well. He's going to be struggling, I think, at the start of the season, but by the end of the year, I think Shane Van Gisbergen will be a championship threat and contender in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I expect it to be very, very quick and very, very fast by the end of this year's Xfinity Series season and will be an outside championship threat and contender. And finally, let's talk about the 98 car for Stuart Haas Racing. This will once again be driven by Riley Herbst. Riley Herbst had a great ending to 2023 as able to have, I think, five consecutive top five finishes and also was able to win his first career NASCAR Xfinity Series race. Now, unfortunately, he was not able to make the playoffs, but I expect him to make the playoffs pretty easily in 2024. I think it's going to be a great season for him, and I think Riley Hurts will have a pretty strong year with Stuart Haas Racing in the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. So, that is the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series driver lineup. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. For notifications on soon if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my Patreon as well. Let's go below that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. Who do you think will be the best driver in 2024? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, you're going to see the 2024 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series driver lineup. I've got the top 10 NASCAR teams going into the 2024 season dropping later today. I've got some other content dropping tomorrow as well, and I will have my 2000 video dropping in the next couple days. Got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.